this election has become a referendum on whether we will accept this kind of behavior from our leaders, the editorial said, urging voters to instead support Democrat Doug Jones in next month's election for the seat Republican Jeff Sessions vacated to serve as President Donald Trump's Attorney General. How can we look our neighbors, our parishioners, our colleagues, our partners, or our children in the eyes and tell them they are worth less than ensuring one political party keeps a Senate seat, it continued. How can we expect young Alabamians to have faith in their government or their church, when its leaders equivocate on matters as clear-cut as sexual abuse? A vote for Roy Moore sends the worst kind of message to Alabamians struggling with abuse, if you ever do tell your story. Alabama won't believe you, the editorial said. Moore, 70, has repeatedly denied the allegations, even as another woman came forward this week and accused him of sexually assaulting her when she was 16. They're not only untrue, but they have no evidence to support them, he said at a rally on Friday. I can't believe there's such an outcry now, Day told The Times, about something everybody knew.